Are you plans for the mission to launch on the 5th of January 2018, so in just five years' time. And the plan is to launch a couple, a man and a woman, um, into space, um, and the capsule that they'll be travelling in will head towards Mars. It won't land on it. That's what makes this much, much easier. It's not going to have to bother landing on Mars. It's simply going to fly around it, it's going to orbit Mars, and then it'll sort of slingshot back towards the Earth again. It's going to last 500 days. I mean, that's a long time to be cooped up with someone else, even if it's your nearest and dearest with you, and could cost an awful lot of money as well. I mean, the interesting thing is the funding, actually. It's not entirely clear where it's going to come from because this chap is obviously very rich. You know, he's paid $20 million to get himself to the International Space Station. But scientists think a mission to Mars could cost billions. Then there's the other issue. You know, you're talking about five years' time. Well, do we actually have a capsule that could currently take people to Mars and back again. Well, we've got some things which are getting close and places like NASA and ESA are working on a, a new Orion capsule that could do it in 2035. But whether something could be created that quickly, um, who knows? But the thing is, you know, people were very, very sceptical when he said he was going to do his trip to the International Space Station. NASA were dead set against it. They said, no, you're not. And then a few years later, he was there waving from outer space. If they don't land on Mars, what's the point? We've been arguing about this in the office today. So if someone offered me a chance to go to Mars, there'd be no way I'd do it at all because you've got so many problems. I mean, imagine being cooped up with someone in this spacecraft for so long, all the radiation you'd be bombarded with. I mean, they say they're thinking of building some sort of shield to protect you. But if there's a solar flare, you'd be frazzled instantly. So for me, the risk wouldn't be worth it. But my other colleagues who, they said, but if you could see Mars with your own eyes, if you could see the red planet, if you could get that close, it would just be amazing. So it's, it's really a jolly that they're yeah. talking about here. Yeah, basically. A jolly for um, people with a bit of cash, I think. <laughs>